Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton of Dalton A95 Punch with another Transformers Kingdom video, and today we're taking a look at the WFC K12 Core Class Starscream. So yeah, with you know the possibility of us getting that Arc Titan, these guys are going to come in mighty handy for display purposes. So yeah, and plus it's Starscream. I mean, who, well, there, there are plenty of people who are, don't like Starscream, uh, good friend of ours on stasis lock or was part of stasis lock i guess occasionally does not really care for any of the g1 stuff but anyways i'm taking a look at it 17 steps little core class star scream of course screaming in the picture so let's go ahead and open this up and check it out all right and here we have star scream out of the packaging and of course what other pose would you put him in uh yeah, not a bad little Legends figure so far. Uh, just messing with them a little bit before recording this. I am really impressed. You know, just, just for what it is, you know, basic, basic Legends class type of figure. But still, I mean, it's pretty good. You got, of course, the red paint here on the torso. And unlike the Earthrise version, doesn't have that weird section right there in front of it got the yellow painted for the cockpit and focusing here you can see the red eyes of course the silver turbines I believe the forearms and fists are painted blue as well as the feet and tail fins of course you got the black paint for the helmet Let's turn that brightness down a little bit so yeah not too bad not a whole lot of detail going on it looks you know like a small version of the earthrise as far as molded in details and everything so real quick let's go ahead and bring in another figure another core class we got the prime and yes they're practically the exact same size so yeah unlike the other classes they don't really scale with each other so that, that, I mean, that's fine. They were pretty close in scale as far as figures anyway. Now, articulation, his head is just on a swivel, really tight one. Got the ball-jointed shoulders, ball-jointed elbows, and his null rays keep popping off super easy. Nothing at the waist due to the transformation. You do get a little bit of a swivel here with the ball joint in the hips, which gets you all the way out to here, all the way forward. Eh, not too far back, but a decent amount. Of course, the ball joint here at the knee, so you get a full rotation. Although, you kind of have to angle it due to that piece there looking like the old hinge joint for the legs, which, you know, 90 degrees, nothing at the feet. So, yeah. He's got the same 3 millimeter points for his null rays, which you can use as... You know, little rifles if you want to, like they did in the show. But for those, I'm just going to take it off for the transformation. He does have wings here that kind of remind me of the Cyberverse version, just the way they're designed. We'll look at that more in jet mode when we get there. But I just want to bring the arms out to here. Bring up the nose cone. Then let's go ahead and straighten the wings out like this. And then on the tab, the front of the torso, bringing it back along with the wing. So you got that. Very interesting transformation here. Pop this out, rotate the head 180 degrees. This will all come down. And you rotate the wings around. And then this whole section here will just collapse down like that. So it's on a double hinge. You want to just bring it back and bring it down. And from here, just straighten out the nose cone. So you got that. Just make sure the legs here are plugged in. Plug in. Bring up. Actually, you'll probably want to bring up the fins first. Same thing on this side. There we go. And just collapse this whole section down. And 
there are these little teeny tiny tabs right here that'll go right into his knees. And there we go. Then from here, there's a slot there and a tab on the forearm. So you just want to rotate that 90 degrees. Tab that into the wing. Do the same thing here on the other side. Tab in to the wing. Turn that out. Extend the whole head and neck piece and plug it into the bottom of the nose cone. There we go. Of course, flatten out your tail wings. And then little null rays will plug back into the shoulder. You can have some under wing weaponry. So there we go. There we got Starscream in his jet mode. And the transformation is actually pretty fun. Like it's something new that I personally haven't seen in Starscream as of yet. So he, he actually does sit fairly well. Of course, it's you know mostly a robot hanging out the bottom of a jet. That's, that's how Seekers have always been. That's probably how they're always going to be for the foreseeable future. But he does look pretty good here in Jet Moon. You can see what I mean here now. The wings, instead of coming out to more of a point here, actually kind of just curve off. And that for the aesthetic of the robot mode. So it kind of reminds me of a bit of the Cyberverse and the older Legends class that was kind of like a hybrid of an F-22 and something else. So there he is. Let's grab Prime and do a quick size comparison. And here he is with Prime. Now, as far as Starscream goes, I think he does a better job of being a jet than Prime does as does at being a truck. Like, you get this weird, you know, squashed and tall truck with fairly decent proportions front to back. Starscream does pretty much everything correct for proportions and still looks fairly good. Like he's still got this nice blue, matte blue paint here for the tail fins, which you know, may, maybe a couple of little toy hacks just to clean that up would be nice. Anyways, uh, these are still Blast Effect compatible. So yeah, this might be a fairly large Blast Effect to use. I'm give them that, which yeah, that's, that's going to pop that out of that wing way too easy. Something a little bit better like that, or even the ones that came with Aimless that look a little bit more like the Seek, like Seeker, Null Ray, Blasts. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this little Starscream. There's not too much else to talk about. It's going to be a great addition to that potential arc set that we haven't seen at the time of this recording. Uh, that should hopefully be this coming Friday, which is, at the time of this recording, three days. So, yeah, this is going up on Wednesday, so two days from there, if you're watching on Wednesday. So, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling, because I tried to keep this video short, and here I am making it longer than it needs to be. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out the links down in the description below. This is going to be part of my Kingdom playlist. Uh, check out all the other stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as all the other channels I give a shout out to down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.